Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and today, I'm recording this on February 1st, but it's going to be going up the 2nd, but 343 has released a community update on their website, and inside of that update, there's a weapon tuning update for the BR, the Carbine, the DMR, the Storm Rifle, the Brute Plasma Rifle, and then the Magnum and the Sniper, and I am not too happy about those things, but we're going to talk about those later. They don't really give specifics because the changes aren't locked in yet, so that's, I guess, whatever we can speculate. They talk about the issues and kind of how they're going to fix them, so we can kind of gather, you know, what's actually going to happen. So for the BR, they say that people were experiencing discomfort using some BR variants because of the recoil. Uh, they say that it's, it's too much with scope attachments so i don't know if this means that like it's only going to affect the brs and like warzone and stuff uh because that would be kind of crappy because the br right now is a trash can weapon in my opinion and i'm sure a lot of you share that same sentiment so hopefully the re it does the recoil thing doesn't even really change how good it is in my opinion so we'll see what happens with that i still think after the update that the br is not going to be that great Next up is the Carbine. People have been saying in their feedback that it feels a bit too inconsistent, particularly at longer ranges. I actually really enjoy using the Carbine. It's a fun gun in my opinion. I just spam it. The trigger just bop, 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 bop. So, I mean, I don't know how they're gonna address that other than my, I guess, aim assist at longer ranges. Um, that's the only thing I can think of though. I'm not sure how they're going to address that. The DMR, it says that the uh, Sandbox's team goal is to address the feedback that it isn't adequately filling its intended role following the last round of tuning changes. The role of the DMR is intended to shine in long range combat while being less effective at mid and even less so at close range. I, I feel like it's not that great, you know, close range and mid range. So I assume that they're just going to buff it in some capacity from, you know, long range. Now, whether that's giving it more aim assist or whatever, who knows? Once again, they don't really go into specifics. Next up is the Storm Rifle and the Plasma Rifle, and they're kind of, they're kind of in the same boat and one affects the others, the other. So, uh, the Storm Rifle is really good at taking down shields and going up against the meat. Like once you get rid of the shield, it can still do a good amount of damage to, they say organic material. It says uh, it's lethal close up and the heat that's produced forces a wielder to fire short controlled burst or risk overheating. And uh, both the plasma rifle and the storm rifle were not included in earlier rounds of tuning updates. Uh, they're going to address the feedback that is now shifted more out of balance in relation to the rest of the sandbox. Um, and then that, the storm rifle goes hand in hand with the brute plasma rifle. And the thing about that is, is that the plasma rifle is super good at taking down shields and it's supposed to be less so at, uh, less effective with the organic material. And it's pretty easy. I, I love the plasma rifle. You just take the shields down, switch to your AR and one shot them in the head. It's fairly consistent. Uh, they say the team's goal is to address current feedback that it's a bit too effective at stripping shields and overlaps a bit too much in with the storm rifle and its intended role. So both of those weapons go off of each other. Uh, yeah, I assume that... I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to... Uh, they're, they're obviously with the plasma rifle going to change how fast it takes shields down, I would assume. And then make the storm rifle just a little bit better. Maybe they... You know, I would assume that they they try to make the storm rifle better in that sense that the the plasma rifle won't always outshine the storm rifle. In the article, they talk about how the Magnum ended up being a bit of an outlier in the sandbox. Currently, we know this weapon outclasses nearly everything else with a similar intended role, and it's something the team is going to be taking a closer look at. However, given the Magnum's implications in competitive play and the fact that we have already gotten underway with the halo world championship season we're holding off from making any public changes until sometime after the world finals have concluded we'll have more to say on the magnum in the coming months i don't know why they're changing this i think it's dumb honestly the weapon is very important to the game it feels great in my opinion at least and it's so late in the game's life you know life cycle that why would you 
change it now and one of the things that worries me is because maybe that means that halo 6 isn't right around the corner and that we're gonna have to be playing halo 5 a lot longer than you know what a lot of us want to at this point so maybe that's how they're changing it please don't touch the magnum last up is the sniper rifle there's been a good amount of feedback from players at the highest levels of skill that the sniper rifle is currently a bit too effective and easy to use overall the sniper rifle is currently performing as intended in the vast majority of players but the team will continue to monitor performance and feedback. So I I don't know. I don't know how you adjust that. Maybe take the aim assist off or lower it when it's not scoped in. I don't know. I really hope that they don't change the Magnum and sniper rifle drastically. I think that would be a mistake. And that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.